In 2018, I installed a four-channel wireless remote system for the awning and the dimmers in the control console. I used commercially available generic wireless relays for that project, and while it worked well enough, I was having some issues with reliability. The relays would occasionally hang, and the receivers would sometimes respond to the wrong channel. So to alleviate that issue, this project replaces the old four-channel wireless relay with a receiver of my own design. I now can control the transmitter channel I want to map to a function and various other parameters. And the receiver can be expanded to eight channels if the need arises. As well, the new receiver is more closely matched to the dimmers and awning control relay I installed last year. I covered the construction of the receiver in a previous project and you can view the video and web page for that project for the link I'm providing here. We need to begin the receiver upgrade by opening the control panel and removing the old receiver. We've pulled the remote control board out and we're going to replace these four relays and this control module with this one. And we now have the board modified with the new receiver here. And here's the antenna. And what I have to do is put the antenna down to get this board in there. Then I'll bring the antenna up and then probably do a cable tie around the antenna so it doesn't flop over. Even though we have a wiring mess inside, you can see where I've placed the receiver. Put the new receiver in there. I replace the old on-off switch here with a display. And now I have a new panel light. And that is so you can see it at night. You can dim it all the way down to nothing here. And then I moved the on-off switch for the RF receiver here. And then you can see we've got a display. And it's time to do an operational test. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek preview of a new transmitter I've been working on. I'm not ready to release a video yet, but uh, probably later this summer it'll be out. And we'll turn the receiver on. And you see where it says last signal? Well, it keeps tabs on any signal that it finds. Now, I said, remember, this is a four channel receiver. So I have more than four channels in the RV. And even though it may not respond to all the signals, it will at least display them. So in other words, if I have 20 devices in here, four of them will be controlled by the receiver, but it's going to display all 20. So for example, I just hit the salon dimmer and it went to dim mode. I hit it again and it went to off and now it's back on. So it recognized the function so it said salon dimmer and it's giving me the code that's corresponding to that particular transmitter. And after two hours, this will go to sleep, so you won't see the display, but as soon as it sees another signal, then it'll turn back on. So let's look at our new remote. We'll turn it on by hitting the home button, and it gives us a splash screen. We hit the button again, and you probably can't see it in the camera too well, but the second button is living room. And so if I click on that, it's doing the same thing the other remote did. And again, it tells me that the salon dimmer and the channel number. And so really, these two are programmed, both of them, for the same number. And that's the other beauty of this. I can program any channel in it I want. Now, this is designed to be a universal remote that controls every function in the RV. And I'm also adding a IR function, an infrared function, which is the primary reason why I have not done a video on it yet. And the infrared function will control things like the TV, the fireplace and so on it'll all be seamless so that'll be the master one and then i can take these little ones and program just a function or two in them that is okay for anybody to use so for example if i have some kids over i might program the lights but i don't want to program the awning motor because i don't want them to move the awning in and out and this will prevent that of course you can always come up here and do it manually now this receiver is also expandable to eight channels currently it's four channels we have the ceiling lights, the awning lights on dimmer, 
and then the awning extend and awning retraction has four because the motor takes two channels because you need one for extend and one for retract. If I decide at a future point that I need more than four channels inside this cabinet, then I have a module that I've tested and built, and this is a four channel expansion unit. So it gives me eight channels. Now at some point I may do, you know, the step light or the porch light. I don't know. But unless I go forward with that, I'm not going to do a video on this. Unless, of course, you as a viewer, if you're interested in it, then I'll do a video. So I really need to kind of reiterate the design of the overall remote system that I have. And it's kind of a distributed system where you have four channels in here. And then some of the other functions, such as the bedroom lighting and things, they have their own receiver. And the fan controls, they have their own receiver and so on. That's what I mean by distributed, that we have multiple receivers all around the coach. And the one transmitter can be programmed for all those receivers. And another question that people are asking is, why didn't I use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? Well, I've done a lot of testing with these remotes. In Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, they don't respond very fast. It may be a second between the time you push a button and something happens. So, for instance, for a dimmer, that's not a big deal. You know, you push a button, wait a second, then the thing dims. But the awning motor control, you don't want a one-second delay. Just could you imagine trying to anticipate when you got to release the awning motor, and then the awning motor will stop a second later? I mean, you could pull the thing out of the wall if you did that. So that's why we're staying with a wireless relay system is because of the latency issue. So I'm getting really close to being completely done with my remote control system.